Hey family, it's your boy Dr. G, the Love Motivator. I'm so excited to share this message with you guys. And I know some of you uh, might catch this on the replay. So I want to, let's, let's focus level. I want you to focus on me and give me the next 10, maybe 15 minutes of your time as I break this down to you. And for those of you who will be joining me now, I want you to understand that it's not by chance that you're getting this message because this was designed for you. So let me ask you a question. What do you think about success? What is it you desire about success? What is it that you wish for? How do you plan to become successful? You see, a lot of people have a myth about success. So if I could, if you just give me a second of your time and let me share with you, let me just share with you this story. And uh, there's a story that's told of uh, two men. And uh, they're both fishermen. And these two men were, you know, they, they were diligent fishermen. But there was one fisherman that, let's call him Tom. You know, Tom always gets up in the morning. And, and when they go on the Friday to sell fish, Tom will somehow have a lot more fish in his stall than Jack. Let's call him Jack. And the thing about it is that Every time they show up to the market, somehow Tom would have a lot more fishes, a lot more uh, to, to give customers because his success, you know, they, be, they wanted to know, Jack wanted to know, how did Tom does it? So Tom asked Jack one day, like, you know, how do you do it? How, how do you catch all these fish? How do you become successful? In what you do. Because there's a myth. And I'm going to tell you about the myth. Because the myth is that many people look at successful people. And think that they, if I ask you. What does a success look like for you? Or name some successful people. You can tell me some names. And you might think to me. You might say to yourself. Oh Richard Branson is successful. Oprah Winfrey is successful. Tony Robinson is successful. What makes them different to you? And there's this myth that they are special, they are unique, they are different, they, they, they got good mindset. But there's a myth because the truth of the matter is, there's, there is nothing different to them than you. There is nothing different to anybody that is successful than you. What makes the different is what you do. So Tom and Jack said, Tom said, Jack, come meet me, meet me. Look, listen to me, Tom, Jack. I want you to meet me early in the morning before the sun comes up at the beach. <laughs> so Tom says, like, what time? I'm talking about five o'clock in the morning. I need you to be there on time. And, and Jack was like, you know, Tom, uh, Tom that, that's a bit early, right? Anyway, he said, yeah. So meet me Sunday morning early. He got there, he saw Jack, and Jack was like, ah, Jack was all waiting for, for Tom to come, and Tom is there sitting down. Tom is, Tom, Tom, Tom is strolling in at 6 o'clock when he should have been there at 5 o'clock. And he said to Tom, he said, Tom, Tom said to Jack, look, you're going to get a lesson today. You're going to get a secret that success does not come just by chance. Success does not come overnight. And, and, and Tom says to Jack, like, listen, I know you want to become successful, but the first principle you got to learn is that you've got to sacrifice your time. You've got to be on time. You've got to value your time. So I know you're late. And I know you are late. For this opportunity. I know that you thought that. Okay there was no lesson. That you're going to be learned. You showed up an hour late. But I'm still going to take my time. To teach you the secret. And it's like okay. Cool. So he said come on. Okay so that's the first principle right. Okay time. Managing my time. Cool okay. I got this one. This this is right. This, 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 is, this is fantastic. I, I really know. I'm going to sacrifice my time. So. He made an appointment for him. He said, I want you to show up on time. 
I want you to show up on time next Sunday and we're going to do this. So he showed up at 5 a.m. in the morning and he said, yeah, I got this right now. I've got this right. So Jack was like, yeah, he was there. They cracked it. So they pulled, a, they pulled a boat out onto the sea and they were about to go into the ocean because I'm from the islands, right? And, and they, they, start, they jumped in and, and he says, uh, where, where's your tools? He said, Jack was like, you don't understand. You, you, you don't have your tools. Like, where's your tools that's going to help you to become successful in fishing? He brought like uh, just two or three bait. You know, he's like, okay, you want to become a successful fisherman, but you don't want to invest in your tools. Like, for real. How are you going to become successful and catch a lot of fish uh, and be able to be successful in what you do? And he's like, okay, now nah, uh, this is crazy. He's like, okay, all right, so you want me to show up on time. You need me to get my tools right. And most of all, he's like, okay, cool. You think that in order for me to have the most fish early in the morning uh, on, the, on Friday when we go to the stores to sell and people look at me and say, oh, ah, uh, he's a successful fisherman. You think I just made it like that? And he realized, he understood. He woke up and he said, look, let me tell you something, son. Successful people do what successful people do. They sacrifice. They invest in themselves. They make sure that the value they are doing, giving to people, that is more important than anything that they can pay them for. They understand that their service, mm, come on now, that their service is more valuable than the price that you can pay. That the quality that they can contribute to their service is more important. And this is what he, he woke up and he's understanding. Okay, so the myth is simple. Successful people grind. Successful people work. Successful people sacrifice. Successful people dedicate. Successful people dream big. Successful people put in a lot of work. There's a myth in a lot of people's mind to think that successful people are just some special, unique people. No. And I want to tell you, like, I want to, I want to wake you up today because I need to understand. It's not a myth. It's not by accident or not by chance. It's not by some fire viral video. No, I want you to get this in your mindset. Successful people put in the work. Successful people take time to look at the detail of what they do. And when they understand this, this is how they become successful. And I will tell you like, you know, Jack was all excited. He's like, okay, cool. I understand if you want to be the best fisherman and you want to produce the best quality, you've got to get to a mindset that you understand that your service is of more value than anything. So if I'm going to show up to speak at any event, I want to make sure I'm giving the best quality more than one or two people i'm not just doing this because i feel like it i'm doing this because i want to give you something quality and i want you to understand that he woke up and a lot of people think that successful just success just come overnight success has happened just with a twinkling of eye there's a number of days there's a lot of sacrifice and days without sleeping i'm telling you like for real all the people all the people that have walked into their greatness and have been executed, people like Muhammad Ali and Gandhi and Mother Teresa and all these people like, you know, uh, that has made the mark in the world. And we look to them and you say, these people are great people. They did not just come great people. They understood that there's a process that you have to go through. There's some steps that you need to take. There's some value that you need to add to your life. There's something that you need to change to wake up. And Jack understands now that in order for him to become successful, he's going to have to do more than enough. He is going to go the extra mile. He's going to understand his time is valuable. He, you've got to understand that the quality of your work is more better than the quantity of your work. You've got to understand the price of who you are. And this is what I want to tell you, like, for real. Many people think it's a myth. Like, okay, this is the myth that people huh, that are successful are just special or unique or different. The truth of the matter is they just do more. 
They just value themselves more. They value their time more. They value their effort more. They value their work more. And they don't joke. Like for real. I, I, I've been hanging around some millionaires last year. Still got them in my network. And I listened to that. I, I didn't take time to try and get their money. I took time to learn. Because I understood what separates a millionaire is that they value every, every second of their time. That's why it's not easy to just walk into somebody's time and, and just that there's a millionaire just offer your time. You've got to have a schedule. You've got to book in your time. You've got to make sure that you are valuing their time and know the price that you're willing to pay. So I know I want to destroy this myth because the myth of success is that only special people make it. Only unique people make it or maybe different people make it. The truth is, successful people do what successful people do. And it's down to you to make that decision in your mind. That every dream you have and everything that you desire, everything that you're wishing for in your life, everything that you want to have the victory over, everything that you've been praying for, you are willing to work for, everything that you want to be, uh, be a blessing in your life, that you're willing to put up a blessing for somebody else. And the moment you understand that it's your mindset that makes you become successful is the moment you start having the victory. It's the moment you start walking in your greatness. It's the moment you start executing and the moment you start living your dreams. So I, I want to challenge somebody today and somebody might watch this on the replay. You might not get this message the first time, but I want to I wanna inspire you to understand that this fisherman, he understood that the reason why he caught more fish is that this guy understood the value of what he did. He understood the quality he had to put in. He understood the work ethics and the sacrifice he had to be dedicated to his craft. And I want, I want you to know this. I want you to know this. Is that all men are created equal. That's right. All men are created equal. But what makes people different is that some decide they're going to stand out. Some decide they're going to work hard. Some decide they're going to grind. Some decide they're going to sacrifice. Some decide that they're going to dream the biggest dream and have the, the courage to go after it. And this today, this Monday, I want to tell you, Monday is just the, it's just my second, it's like, it's Monday and I'm glad about it. It's not Monday to me, it's just another day to grind. The question is, how bad you want to succeed? How bad you want to become successful? How bad you want to walk in your greatness? How bad you want to do the things that people told you you could not have done? How bad you owe yourself to become a blessing to yourself? Look, this is the thing. I know you're in pain. And I know life is throwing you some, some difficulties. Life is throwing you some challenges. I, I know. Uh, that's right. Sunday is my new Monday. And, and I understand that Monday is just a part of my grind. And the moment you understand success, the moment you get this in your mindset, is that everything you dream of, everything that you, you desire, every goal that you set in your life, it takes strategy, it takes, it takes uh, you perfecting small, it takes you focusing on your craft, it takes a lot of lifestyle, a lifestyle change to become. So yes, success, the myth of success is that only special people arrive. And I'm going to tell you, like for real, because if I ask you, and I repeat myself, I say, if I ask you right now, what makes successful people successful people? You start saying something like, most people will say, oh, they're special, oh, they're unique, oh, they're talented. The truth is, successful people do what successful people do. I can't explain it no better than that. It's simple. They have a strategy to win. They have a lifestyle that they dedicate themselves to. They understand in order to become successful in what you do, not just in your arena, in your environment, or in your, in, in your community, but in the world stage, you've got to be dedicated. You've got to be committed. You've got to understand that no matter what you may go through, you are going through it. No matter what pains may come, you will understand that the victory is in your mindset and the battle that you're fighting against, you will win. You will not give up. You will push past your pain to get to your greatness and I'm going to challenge you today I'm going to tell you this when you start understanding the value of your service people will come people that are genuine strangers will support you and in the strangers there will be angels and I guarantee every one of you today that are watching me right now that your life oh man 
everything that you desire is going to take you to a place, to a mindset where you understand God has already given you the victory and everything that you desire of, everything that you require, you just have to understand that you've got to be consistent. You've got to be dedicated. You've got to be loyal. You've got to be committed. You've got to put in the effort. You've got to put in the work. And no matter what nobody says about you, you have the control of your destiny and you can walk into your greatness if you decide that I will not give up. I will not give in. I will make my dreams become a reality and I will sacrifice. I will dedicate myself and I guarantee you, I guarantee you that success is in your mindset. I know, I know. I know you're in pain. I know you're in hurting. And that's why every single day, you got to be full with gratitude for a new day, a new heartbeat, a new blood in your veins. And you understand, you understand. You've got to love the life you live. Come on, say this with me. You've got to love the life you live and live the life you love. And understand that love may be the reason of why you wake up every single day. And the stars and the arcs to shine, they just do. So whenever you see me speak, I'm encouraging you. I'm inspiring you. I'm empowering Empowering you to wake up and live your best life and be understanding that your greatness is knocking, is telling you every single day that I can, I will make this happen. And nothing, come on, nothing will stop me from walking into my dreams because I believe in myself. It's your boy Dr. G, the love motivator saying, love the life you live. Come on, guys. And never forget, never forget why you were born. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you. You will become successful. I'm out of here. Please, if you were inspired, if you were empowered, if you were, if you were uh, motivated, please share this video right now so your friends can do the same too. Guys, I'm so excited to tell you that the tickets are going fast for this conference on the 8th. So go and get your tickets. I'm going to leave the link above this video. It's going to blow you away. I'm gone.